Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss rate code question 605 that says can place flowers. So here you are given a long flower bed in which some of the plots are planted and some are not. And flowers cannot be planted in adjacent plots. So you are given this integer array flower bed containing zeros and ones where zero means there is an empty space and one means already some flower is planted. And you are given one integer n. So you have to return a boolean value true or false that if it is possible to place n number of flowers into this flower bed such that this adjacent criteria that means flowers cannot be planted, planted at adjacent plot must be satisfied. So is it possible to plant n such flowers in this flower bed? So uh, yeah you need to return true or false based on that. So guys if you will take a look at, at uh, this example. So here you have a 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is the flower bed you are given. So at max you can place one flower that is here in the middle so such that both the adjacent are zero. That means no flower is there in the adjacent. So yeah you can place one flower here and that's why we return true. Now in the same flower bed there is no such possibility to place two flowers uh, such that both, are, uh, both adjacent uh, uh, places of the, both the flowers are empty. So it is not possible here. At one so if you place the flower at here then there are two flowers at both the side adjacent. So this is not possible if you place flower here. Uh, so then also it is not possible both uh, adjacent places have flowers. So yeah, we written false. So I, I hope you guys understood the question. The question is simple that uh, we need to check if it is possible to place a flower or not. And we and after that we need to check how many such empty spaces are there. So let's say if you have something like this one zero 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 one zero zero. Okay. And let's say n equal to, uh, let's say 2. So uh, if you try to place flower here, see, at one possible place, uh, starting from the first, this is the first place where you can place a new flower. Then this will also remain 0, then 1, 0, and 1. So here, these are the two new flowers that you have placed. Okay. So one another possibility to place your flower is let's say 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So these are the two new flowers uh, flowers that you have placed. But overall what you can say this that the number of flowers that you can place here is 2 by maximum 2. So yeah and the n is less than equal to this maximum number of empty spaces where you can place flower. So we will return true here for this case. Okay correct. So each time when you place a flower you have to uh, check for its um, left uh, plot uh, is empty you have to check if the left plot is empty and also is right plot empty so you have to check uh, for these two condition whenever you, you try to place a new flower okay and yeah and the other thing is we will traverse from the starting position to the ending position check if the current index is zero or not so if let's say this current this is the current index it is zero so afterwards we will check for the left plot and the right plot. If both are empty then we will place a flower here. If they are not empty then we won't place any flower. So yeah this is a brute force approach and uh, whatever the question is trying to tell we will simply do that thing. So nothing more in the intuition part and the approach is also simple that whenever if uh, there is an empty plot so for each empty plot we will check for the left and right plot uh, left and right adjacent plot for that empty plot and we will check if the left and right plot are empty or not. Okay. Now if, if there is a condition like this, so for the first, uh, uh, if, the, means if the first plot is empty, then we will only have to check for this plot if this is empty or not. And similarly, if the last plot is empty, we will all, only have to check for a plot previous to this. So yeah, these things we have to keep in mind because there is nothing on this side and nothing on this side for this plot. So yeah, for the first and last plot, we have to only check for adjacent at one side only. So the code for this is also simple. So here I took the total. So total is the number of uh, empty uh, plots where we can place a flower. Now this is the single for loop that we will use. So in the condition is that if a flower bed of phi is empty, means the current index is empty, then we will check if the left plot is empty or if, and if the right plot is empty. So here the condition is something like this, that if the i equals to zero, if the i equals to 0 that means it is the first element then we make this as true because there is nothing on the left so we make is left plus empty true 
and if if i is not equal to zero then we will check if the flower bed of i minus one is equal to zero or not so i hope you guys understood this if it is a flush uh, first plot then we will make uh, then there is nothing on the left side of it so we will make is left plot empty true and same for the right if the right plot is the last plot okay then there is nothing on the right side of it so we will make is right plot empty true in this condition as we will check for i plus one index correct now if the both left and right plot are empty then we will mark the current flower bed as uh, used that is mark as, as one this is used condition and we will increment our total and if at any point if the total would be greater than equal to n then we would simply return true that is then there is no need to check for other empty flower beds correct uh, if we uh, are satisfied with the total number of beds that we have that means if total is greater than equal to n then we will return true and in the else condition we also have to return this total greater than equal to n means if it is if this is satisfied then we will return true else false so this is the condition now one also one question may arise from you that we are making here uh, we are checking here if total is greater than equal to n or not and we are returning true then why we ha again have to check why we can uh, we cannot do this we cannot do this why this might be a question in your mind why cannot why we cannot uh, directly write uh, return false because um, uh, see guys so let's say you have something like this uh, one zero one zero one and let's say n equal to zero so n equal to zero so in this condition this is never satisfied this see left plot empty right plot empty for any plot it is never satisfied so you can't you won't be able to hit this condition so your code will never reach up to this condition so in that case at the end condition also we have to check with the total and end so that's why we can't simply directly return false here because we are checking here true we have to again check for this condition for this type of test cases right got it for n equal to zero we have to again check it. otherwise you can uh, explicitly check for n equal to zero and the above like below this uh, here only at the starting of the function you can do that way also so it's up to you uh, so i hope you guys understood the code part as well now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity here is big o of n n is the size of the flower bed and the space complexity is big o of one because we are not storing anything so that's for that's the complexity part for this question uh, so yeah that's all for this video if you guys have any doubts then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you